I like to say this, George. They're a good wrestler. They're a big man, but we're ready to take them, and we want one. We finish with him. We're going to take that little skinny neck as manager. We're going to throw him everywhere in the, in the ring. Oh, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see you get those figure fours on these guys, wrestling fans. The excitement between Gino Brito and Sailor White is going to be doubled tonight when Schroeder tags up with White. Dominic is in there with Gino, and of course at ringside. I knew that much. Was it a chain? Mm. All right, Frankie. I don't know where where you ran off to, but I got a proposition for you, baby. All right? Back in the olden days, in my father's country, they done it one way, all right? It's With a Malta. steel glove. Malta, yes. Frank, okay. Back in Malta, they work in a Let's coal mine. Let's get quickly, Frank. All right, if I can get my man over there to get it for me, please, and the glove. Explain this right. as fast oh, as you can. This is the glove. This will be put on top of a 20-foot high pole. Can you see the pole? That will be, honey, Ring over there, all right. This will be planted on top. And I'll show you, all right. This is no thing. That's solid steel, in here and in here. Frankie, okay. There's another me and you, baby. There too, isn't there? Yeah. There's, this is only how, half. How high it. is this pole? This will be 20 feet tall by the time we're finished putting it together. And, and this glove, that goes on the top. This glove will be sitting there just like that. First one up the pole. First gets one up the pole the gets to use it any which way he wants. And, baby, I've had three of these matches, and I haven't come out Okay, a loser yet. you've got enough guts in your right, mind to back it up. Frank Idol, the luscious one. The luscious giant Idol. The sweet man with the boots at the back of the legs of our children. George, I think the sweet man is going to be a very welcome addition to the Cold War Land Car. Boy, I can see him just looking at White now and his black and his chops. Yeah, I think the match, Billy Coleman Jackson. The sweet man, Billy Cool Cat Jackson. That's right. You know Billy yeah, when you were up in the ring and I told Milk, I said, I was talking to Billy a little bit earlier. When the name of uh, King Mooney, King Moon Dog, Greatest Sailor White, and his name came up, you started licking your lips. I went crazy, man. I can't wait to get my greasy little hands on that man. <laughs> I just want it, just like eating chicken wings, man. <laughs> Where we come from, we take them like this, just like eating chicken wings, man. Oh, I want to get my hands on that man. You know, Billy, he weighs uh, 375 pounds. He's a big man. 375 pounds? Yeah, he's strong oh, man, too. Oh, my God. Oh, he's strong. It's not going to be an easy match for you when you go against him. Back home in the ghetto. We got cockroaches that weigh that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's very you with young, good sense of humor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, now next. Uh, I feel fine. You feel fine? I feel fine. Tonight, of course, you're going to be in Leamington, Ontario. Next Saturday night, though, you will be against 400 pound Smasher Stone at the Cobo Arena right here in Detroit. Now, this will be your debut before the Detroit fans. And, Billy, we, uh, we know that you're confident. We know that you're looking forward to meeting people like Schroeder and Valiant and Hangman, but the guy that I think you're really after is King Moondog, right? That's right. That's right. I want. I can't wait to meet the man. I just want to meet him in the ring. And I see what he does to everybody around this territory. He's not going to do it to me. There you have it. He's not going to do it to me. Billy, I'm the, the cool man. Jackson. The cool man. You'll be seeing a lot more of this man. We'll be back after this message. Coming from Frankfurt, Germany, Hans Schroeder. Yeah. His partner from New York City, New York, Johnny Valiant. John Valiant hasn't changed his style over the last few years since he last appeared here on Superstars of Wrestling. He's got natural reviewers are working him over. Whips him into Schroeder's knee. There's the tag, and here comes the big, vicious German wrestler. Hans Schroeder, but Rivera got over and tagged up with Zanucci. Zanucci with a double chop by John Valiant. Well, I was convinced, George, I had seen a tag between John Valiant and Hans Schroeder. But, uh, Jerome Valiant with some lap. Oh, my shoulder to the upper chest of John Valiant puts him down. Tip on by Valiant. Zanucci. Well, I think he just got down to the left. Valiant's going to drift. John Valiant in control on Rivera. Brings his leg outside the rope. Throws that big knee into the small of Rivera's back. And nowhere is Rivera's back really small. One, Johnny Valiant, Dan yes, and Schroeder. Mr. George Cannon. All out there, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, Chip. Pleasure to meet you. Well, you're probably asking yourself a question out there, ladies and gentlemen. You in the studio can 
Well, let's form your own opinion about Hans Schroeder. You can see he's uh, very symbolic of a rough and tough uh, individual from Hamburg, Germany, where they raise him tough. We don't have to get into detail about that. Me, I'm just a plain old city boy from New York City, and the conversion here, the marriage is pretty not too bad. Would you say so, Hans? That's right. You know what I mean? He got him. We got him right to our toes. You know, and that's where we want him. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to. I want to give credit where credit's due now. Dominic Gonucci's a one tough wrestler. But what I want to say right here, ladies and gentlemen, if I may be so bold, is, you know, I'm sitting here watching this fellow wrestle here, and I had my first match with him. I'm talking about Wojciechowski, the Greek Olympic champion. I take my hat off to that man wholeheartedly so. I have to do, have to give credit where credit is due. The man handled Luscious Johnny Valiant pretty darn good the other day here. And I'll tell you what, I kind of, I kind of uh, made a mistake in that. I'm going to go right on the record right now and tell you what happened. The man had too much oil and grease on his body. And that worked to his advantage now, and it worked to my disadvantage. So if I would ever have a match with the great Greg Wojciechowski, ex-Olympic champion again, I will explicitly demand that that man's body, his whole posterior, must be nice and dry. No grease on that man. Grease and, and grease. Grease. And I request that he takes a shower, we'll because be I saw flies chasing him around a little bit too, you know, the guy's just a